gonna talk yourself into this dress. Oh, but I love. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get this dress. <gasps> it's Friday the thirteenth. <gasps> so weird to publish a video on Friday the thirteenth. You guys know. Hi. You don't know. I have been wearing summer dresses so much during this summer i have just been living for summer dresses at the moment and i thought i should do a video today on my favorite right now summer dresses right so i thought i'd do two price points 150 dollars and under and 50 dollars and under so these are my favorites at the moment some of them are on sale some of them are not on sale i'm just gonna get stuck right in First lot is gonna be the 150 and unders, and I'll end with the 50 and unders. I'll kick off with the dress that I'm wearing to um, basically address the elephant in the room. No, the dress in the room. This is uh, a dress that I got from Topshop, and it comes in at, anyway, I'm gonna put the price points on the screen because I'm not gonna remember. But I, it was one of those dresses that, it was one of those dresses, as soon as I saw it on the website, I knew I had to buy it. I didn't even look at anything else. I just stopped, went, <gasps> prayed that my size was there and then ordered it. This is a size six. So yeah, I was so, so glad that I got it. It has a kind of retro vibe that I love. Anything with got ruffles is, I don't know, I've just really been into that at the moment. And here, like this whole thing here, I, I love that. And that color, I don't usually wear a cool color on my skin tone, but I liked this sort of, pale uh, sky blue color I thought it worked really nicely and I just I just really liked it and especially like with gold jewelry you know right and then my skin tone remember I told you how brown and blues go together so I even think about that in terms of me you know and the clothes I'm wearing because they just tend to they tend to complement each other generally speaking so um, yeah I, I really love this and you've got like these tiny blue buttons that go all the way down it's a midi length and it's got the ruffles you see how it goes like that and then goes all the way here that carries through right down to the bottom and it hits and my calf muscle it is just the perfect little slinky dress i can't even you can you see it all no you can't really hold on oh god i'm coming off the screen god you think after a year or so of doing these videos i know what i'm doing but you know what i mean you get the point hold on Look, there, there you go. Oh God, I should just put another lens on, but I can't be asked. Anyway, so you get the point, right? I just love this dress. And it kind of goes, it slightly goes in, not much, it doesn't do that. Just very slightly goes in and just comes, flares back out and just, it's like a column dress, but with a very slight um, nip in at the waist, just to give you that little bit of shape. And uh, it's a nice wide sort of column to it. So it's quite forgiving as well and it's cut really well. That's the back of it, so you can see. Yeah, anyway, so I love this dress from Topshop. So that's my first kicking off for 150 and under. The next one I'm gonna show you is by And Other Stories. Now, I'm putting this dress in because it is a dead <sighs> ringer for the last year And Other Stories yellow ruffle dress that I got. I love that dress. I haven't worn it yet and I will. There's no way I'm letting this season come and go and not put on that damn dress. I also have it in black. But anyway, the point is, this one is by End of the Stories. Again, they've come out with an updated version of it. Um, the reason I love this is two. Yes, the ruffles, the length. I love how long it is. And that silhouette, the way it just goes in, it's just, the way it just... Oh, I can attest to this dress because it's almost the same as the one that I got from them last year and it just has a really beautiful swing to it when you're walking. It looks so chic with just a pair of flat sandals or flat espadrilles here and they came out with it again this year and I can certainly see why. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I have a really good one. You know how I love Need Supply. A lot of you know how much I love Need Supply. I find that there's still, still one of those uh, brands and websites that not many people talk about. Hardly anybody talks about Need Supply. Think about it on YouTube. I was talking to my friend Dari about um, them when we were upstate last weekend and saying how we want to know who is doing the curation for Need Supply because I feel like they just, you know, just they hit the nail on the head with picking just the right products that I would want to wear. So it's so personalized. I feel like it's one person that is 
picking versus a team because it's so specific and it is exactly what I would want to wear. Whether it's their clothes, whether it's their shoes, they just get it and it's every single season. I saw this dress, look at this, it's on sale and I just love that it's a classic sundress. I like the slightly wide shoulder straps, really flattering look on most of us and also those like oversized ribbons or ties, shoulder ties. I think that alone sort of harkens back to when you're like a little girl growing up, but this is obviously the adult version of that dress. It's a very classic dress. Yeah, but I had to include that one. I thought it was brilliant. I just remembered this one. Um, there's this dress that I saw, um, it's from Mango. Now I had been looking at this dress for me to buy and I think I may have recommended it to you a few months ago. That's how long it's been on the website. Um, I was upstate about a month ago and there was a woman I was speaking to and I looked at her dress while she was speaking and I instantly loved it and I knew I'd seen it before. I had to say something because I said, oh, I love your dress. Um, and she said, oh, thank you. I said, where is it from? I, I feel like I've seen that before. She goes, oh, it's mango. I went, that's it. This is the dress on the screen here, here or there. This dress is absolutely great in person. Now, I'm glad I can actually say that because I've seen it in person. You see how it kind of like just, I don't know, it's almost like a closed waist waistcoat, isn't it? The way it just fits here and crisscrosses high across the, the chest area and it's got those deep front pockets. It looks absolutely spectacular on and I know that's like a big word to use but it's just, it's all about the fit with that dress and it just looks fantastic. It, I mean, it looks so good on her. Another one from Mango, I'm gonna throw this in there because again, I've seen it because I have it and it's this Mango, the cross back dress. I love this dress. I loved it the first time I saw it. The way it just has so much exposed back, right? And the way that it just comes down like this. But when I tried it on, I, I still thought, my God, it's kind of exposed though, but I love it. I really like it. And the pockets makes it re feel way more casual. Um, I love the oversized kind of buttons on the side here. It's a good like update to an apron dress, I call it. There is spaghetti strapped, either tank top or a bodysuit under it. If you don't want to have all your back out and you just want to feel a bit more covered, that is a nice way around it. Anyway, I wear it as is because, you know, I just love it that way. But if you're feeling a bit conscious, wear it with a bodysuit under it. That would be my personal preference and I'm probably going to try that actually. Another one from Need Supply that I had to throw in is this Reformation Vibe dress. Look at this one. It's also on sale. It's got those signature trademarks of what Reformation does. Ruffled shoulders, deeper front, in, out, white midi you know the classic checking off the boxes you know the dresses that i personally like and those are the dresses that i'm sharing with you i thought this was a good one also by the way if you don't ever get these dresses that i'm recommending please come back and tell me on instagram like leave a comment under like my instagram post and say karen i got that dress you know the one that's blah 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 because you know i have no feedback on knowing which who out of you lot and i know you lot are what i know you're watching right and I want to know which dresses you get, okay? Because I'm a nosy parker and I want to know. So let me know on my Instagram, tell me what dress you got because I love the feedback. Even bonus points, wearing the dress. Remember my hashtag, Karen Britchick Inspo? That, I do still look at that hashtag. So if you buy these dresses and you wear them, use that hashtag so I can actually see them on you. So on the Free People website, I saw this dress, oh gosh. Now, I feel like, I feel like you and I have the same taste in clothes, more or less, and oh God, don't hate me, but this is such a nice choice. Look, this one. It comes in three, yeah, it comes in three colors, but my preference is the white one because of that exposed skin area through the crochet that goes on the front and on the back as well. This is beautiful. To me, this is like the ultimate boho chic Chloe vibe dress. The bell long sleeved, and then it just, fl this is great. So really, this to me is a gorgeous dress. Um, like I said, the white is the winner for me. That is the color that I would go for. God, I just realized in the fall, like September, October, just wear this with a pair of beat up cowboy boots. Oh, Karen, don't talk yourself into this dress. Oh, but I love. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get this dress. I'm not. I'm not getting it. But it is. But you understand what I'm saying. I know you know what I mean. 
So sticking with free people, I saw this other dress. Now I love the look of this dress. It has like realiza realization par vibes to it. I think it comes in four different colors. Um, my personal favorite is the red one. I like any dress, regardless of brand, where the straps are quite far apart. And it's got that, what's the word they use here for when it's like ruched, like a big elastic around this area. It's got that here. So it really kind of like, oh God, I hate when I hold my tits like that. But it really kind of like holds your boobs in here. So I think that's a really nice, it's just has a very flattering 70s um, feature to it when it has that kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, like gathering or smocking, I don't know. Some wise person is gonna tell me below what I'm trying to articulate to you lot. But it's got that here and I like that. That's really what drew me to the dress. And I think it looks really pretty in that red color. Reading the reviews below, and one person was saying how she gets so many compliments in it and she has the red one. And again, the red one is the one I like. I need to move on swiftly because I'm talking myself into that one too. But anyway, I liked that dress and I thought it was perfect to show you. Okay, so bouncing back to under the stories, there is this beautiful, buttercup yellow dress and I just it just they might as well just call it the Karen dress it just it spoke to me <laughs> I've said this before my channel I feel like clothes speak to me beautiful you know why I like it it's got all the features that I love about a dress and I may or may not have that dress coming so I've actually um, also seen it um, on a couple of other people and it's just as nice as I imagined it. It's the kind of dress too that would also look really good contrasts with a pair of like ankle boots. A bit like the style of the Chloe ones. You know the Chloe, I call them like the granny boots that they come in so many different materials like snake skin, solid leather, the ones that lace up, they're kind of like um, granny boots. I think those kind of boots would look really good with a dress like that or again any kind of like closed shaft uh, cowboy western boot i think those look really good i'm talking about tr transitioning when it's a much more cooler but still summery day i just want to wear something to just toughen up the dress a bit because it's still quite feminine but i love the look of this dress it's just oh ah, i love it anyway yeah all right so yeah recommend it <laughs> okay so moving on to the 50 dollars and or up to 50 dollars dress mark okay so i'm going to kick off with forever 21 they had this yellow dress now i thought this was beautiful um, I read the reviews as well for it, like I always do, and it said that it is uh, well lined and that it's just a really nice flattering cut on, and I loved it to the point that, yes, I ordered it as well. Anyway, it's a shorter dress as well, so it's perfect for days when it is sweltering hot because New York and England, I know, has been getting like really, really like hot days. You just want to wear like your shorter dresses, you just want to have like you know, it's just too hot to wear anything that's got like a lot of material like covering you up and down. It's not what I would expect to see from Forever 21. Sorry, Forever 21, but it's not. But I had to get on in it now because it's starting to sell out already and I needed to get it in my life now. And it has like the Reformation vibe, but for a fraction of the price. <laughs> Moving on to H&M, I saw this ruffled, again, idea, featured dress. Gorgeous tangerine, like burnt, actually, yeah, it's like a burnt orange color. I'm looking at on the monitor here. This looks similar ish to the dress I recommended in the first section of this video, but it's under $50. And again, great silhouette to it. I love the back feature as well. This is a good one for HM, so I had to include and they it. They have, all right, bouncing over to Topshop, they have this dress in the sale. Now, I saw it when it was full price and I liked it and then it went down in the sale. I've actually seen this dress in person. The material and the quality of it is actually really nice. It feels weighty, it feels like an expensive dress and it's now under $50. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to grab this dress if you've been thinking about it. I think it's that broad, broderie in blanc anglaise. I can't say those words. Anyway, it's that kind of material I think, which to me is like, perennial summer, right? Those kind of fabrics. It kind of reminds me a little bit of an Ulla Johnson dress that I have, um, but obviously a much lower price point. Loved the yellow, long length, and it's reduced. So it's a good opportunity to get on it. Oh, then I saw this one from Forever 21. Square neckline, wide straps, cherry print, tick, tick, tick. Next. Okay, so Target. That rhymes. Uh, saw this gorgeous dress. Army, my girl, I'm so glad that you showed this dress because I agree, it's gorgeous. It's funny because I have this exact same style dress 
but by Reformation I bought in their sale back in January in white. It's the exact same style, square neckline with the thin shoulder straps and then the buttons, oversized contrasting running down the entire length of your body. That's really the, the look of this dress. I love this dress. I thought this was a perfect one to put in and um, yeah, Army has worn it and it looks amazing on her of course and, and it also looks amazing on all of the customers who bought that dress and submitted pictures so this is a great 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 summer dress and the price point is perfect wow this is gorgeous this dress from H&M is look at the look at the back of that dress look at the front of it I love the front I would buy it just for the front alone but the back of it is that is gorgeous and $50 $49.99. I like that. Just see, just here. Just it's like this dress. The way it just does that is very, very simple. And just that slight. I love when they do shoulders like that now. It's not just a strap, but it's like that kind of semi wing ruffle effect. It's so pretty. I'd probably starch the hell out of it too, just to really make sure it sticks up to get that exaggerated effect. This is a good one, right? When I start thinking and considering, you start, that I start to do this, like playing with my ring finger. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is this is a really good one. So, hmm, nice dress. Again, Karen Bridget Inspo, hashtag me on Instagram. If you guys get these dresses and actually wear them, show me, because I want to see how they look, because God, this is a nice, this is a bloody good dress, man, for H&M. Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to stop here. I don't want to go overboard and just keep naming dress after dress after dress. I got a cut off at some point. So that is going to be my lot for now. Dresses up to 150 dresses up to $50. Those are my favorites at the moment, snapshot wise, that is available to you. Uh, what do they want to say? Some of them are on sale, some of them aren't, but the point is the price tiers are kept to. So you just choose which one fits your budget. Um, and then what else do I want to say? I don't think there was anything. I, there's always other things I want to say. I don't know what it is. All right, so that is it. I hope you lot have a good weekend. And um, what do I want to say? <gasps> The video, the one that I did on Tuesday, I had to just throw that in, the one where I went upstate with Michael. You lot, I don't know why, but there's something about that video that moves me. And um, you lot said it too. Like you, some of you said, like one of you wrote that you actually cried watching that video. I don't know what it is about how I strung that video together and the music that I chose to lay on top, but it just came across a lot more um, moving than I intended. I didn't think it was going to go that direction and in some strange way it did. I just wanted to feel like summer. I wanted to feel like just relaxing and just being with friends, being with loved ones and just enjoying the summer. And it just, I felt like it did that, but it just, I told Daria, I texted her, I went, God, this is making me well up, you know, watching this video, you know, it's just, it was really weird, I don't know why, and if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below for you, um, yeah, I, I don't know how that happened, but it, it did in a strange way, a lot of you probably won't even see it, now you'll watch it go, what, I don't, I don't see anything here, but anyway, strange, I felt it, and some of you did too, so... All right, so that is it. I am done. I hope you all have a brilliant weekend. Enjoy the summer. Let me know. Use my hashtag, Karen Bridget Inspo, on Instagram. I want to know if any of you get any of these dresses and you wear them, show me, show me, show me, and use that hashtag. All right, I'm done. I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> Bye. I love the slightly wide shoulder, 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 shoulder straps. That way you've got a mix of... <sighs> That way you got a mix of the more budget conscious price points. That way you got a mix of budget conscious conscious price points. That way you've got a mix of sort of budget pro that way you've got a good of really that way you've that way you've got what? Alright? I think okay, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I don't want to go overboard and just keep naming I just want to naming naming anyway. Love that one. Had to look at that hand movement with the thumb. Anyway, I had to include that one. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Yes usual. Yes usual. 
Wow, I really don't know what I'm saying today. And again, I saw, and I also, <laughs> and I saw this other dress with small, no, I'm not gonna put that one in to you about it. Fact the fact, oh, that fact the fact, wow, I'm really on a roll today. Thank you.